Bounding box collision detection is just one of many ways to detect collision between objects. It consists of having a collidable object have a rectangular region that is solid. This can either be the entire picture, but it's probably better if it's a smaller region of the image. Your bounding box logic will work like this. If the left edge of the first object is less than the right edge of the second object, and right one is greater than left two, and top one is less than bottom two, and bottom one is greater than top two, then there is a collision. You should probably write a function either in main.cpp or in its own header file to return a bool if there is a collision, instead of having the function be a part of a class. The collision code will be almost identical, except for one thing. STL has STL rect, but in Allegro you have to write your own rectangle struct that looks something like this. Our isCollision function will take two rectangles or two STL rect items, and will return a bool. First off, however, you need to make sure your character and other objects in the game have a collision region rectangle. You will also make sure that you get functions for this rectangle to return the rectangle's x plus the object's current x location, and the same for the y. This is because your region will be somewhere from 0 to 32, if your image is of width 32, and will need to return the region plus the location. Here's some sample code for the character's regions. We'll have two rectangles in the character and stick classes, one for their coordinates and one for their collision region. We will also write a function to return a rectangle, which is the region dimensions plus the object's coordinates. We do this because the collision region rectangle are relative to the actual image rather than relative to the screen. And here is how our collision code would work. When we are ready to check for collision, we will pass player.regionCoordinates and stick.regionCoordinates to the isCollision function. From here, it compares the two rectangles based on the logic I described earlier, returning either true or false. Alrighty, next video is planning out the game. See ya!